I would say most pregnant women are sitting like this for at least part of the day. Today, I'm going to talk about two pregnancy sitting mistakes that increasing your risk of having a posterior or sunny side up baby making delivery much more difficult, also increasing pelvic floor weakness and pregnancy back pain. And of course, I'm going to share easy fixes. Mistake number one is to sit with a slight posterior pelvic tilt. In this position, my pelvis is actually tilted like this, and so the pressure is on my tailbone. In a neutral pelvis position, I'd be sitting right up on my sit bones. My pelvis would be in this position, and this promotes your baby getting into the optimal fetal position for an easier delivery. It also makes our pelvic floor muscles support our internal organs, our uterus, and our baby, which our pelvic floor muscles are designed to do this. If we are sitting in that posterior pelvic tilt and the weight is falling onto our tailbone, it can actually cause pelvic floor weakness. And of course, we're also dumping into our lower back, which can contribute to pregnancy back pain. If you're used to sitting like this and you start sitting like this, it can cause some strain in the lower back. So one thing you can do is to fold up a blanket or a towel or a block and put it under your sit bones, which is going to help you get more easily into that neutral pelvis position. The other option is to find support from your friend. So you could actually turn around backwards on your chair and it would be easier to lean it this way. Of course, if it's an option for you, you can get rid of the chair altogether and ideally sit on a birthing ball. This is great to get baby in a good position. It's great to reduce back pain and it's also great for your pelvic floor. Previous to the invention of chairs, women used to spend a substantial amount of time in a squat position, which is excellent for birth preparation. While it may not be practical to spend a lot of time in the squatting position, I tried to squat for three minutes several times a day nearing the end of my pregnancies. Mistake number two, you have probably heard before, but it isn't just to protect from varicose veins, which is important. However, being with both of your legs down on the ground allows you to have that neutral pelvis, which again gets your baby into the ideal fetal position. If we are crossing our legs, we can pull on those uterine ligaments, potentially getting your baby into a funky position. One tip for reminding yourself to uncross your legs is to make sure that both of your feet can touch the ground. If you put down a stool or a block, it's going to be much harder to cross your legs. I will keep creating exercises, yoga, and Pilates and strategies on how to have your positive birth experience. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell.